So far, let us take a look at what hypothesis tests we have already talked about. So we have the different hypothesis tests. So first, we have already talked about hypothesis tests on one population parameters. And these are your one population Z test and your one sample T test. One sample T test. Then we have also talked about two population, two population parameters. And this is your T test of independent means. If you have two independent samples, and the t test of dependent means if you have two dependent samples or actually one depend one sample with two dependent data sets but of course there are cases wherein you will have more than two population parameters to compare Say, for example, you want to compare actually not one, not two, but actually three populations. So that's population one, population two, population three. And you want to compare them through sample one, sample one, this one, sample two, and this one, sample three. So you would like to compare the different populations through each of these samples. So, for us to compare more than two populations, you, you have an option to compare each of them one by one. Population 1 to population 2, population 2 to population 3, population 1 to population 3. But of course, that process is quite tedious if we would have more than three populations. So instead, a hypothesis test is developed so that we can do this all at the same time and that is what we call the analysis of variance or more commonly known as ANOVA so we will use analysis of variance or ANOVA to compare more than two population parameters and we will see how Analysis of variance is used in Excel in the next video.